Let's take a look at Jaspersoft on Cloud Foundry. The first thing you'll need to do is download a version of Jasperport server that's been especially configured for Cloud Foundry. You can get that at the URL here on jasperforge.org. Uh, then you'll push that application up to your Cloud Foundry account to get it deployed. And having done that, you'll need to bind your existing data sources. So this would be Postgres or MySQL or MongoDB data sources. Bind those to Jasperport server so they, you can connect to them and then start building reports. Let's take a look at some of this in action. First thing you'll do is go here to this uh, project on jasperforge.org. In the releases section, you can download the software to get started. Uh, there's lots of documentation in the wiki section, so you'll go there to get some more details. And then, uh, well, as you find bugs, enter them in the tracker. But these are the three key pieces in the project. You can see I've already got the URL entered into my browser here, but the application is not deployed, so I've got this error. Let's take a look at how I'm going to deploy the application. Now, I already have this business application, which would correspond to your apps that you already have in Cloud Foundry. But now let's take a look at pushing Jasper Report Server up next to those. Now, this deployment process should look very familiar to you if you've already been working with Cloud Foundry. Here, I'm going to um, deploy a Jasper Report Server with MySQL. So that's going to serve as the repository database. And uh, now let's, uh, well, we'll wait for the application to upload. It'll take just a, just a few moments here. And that's it. Now we have deployed Jasper Report Server. If I switch back to my browser and refresh, uh, hopefully in a moment we'll see that it comes, uh, that it comes right up. And, and there we go. It, it is deployed. And now I'm ready to start using Jasper Report Server. Well, there's one key thing that I need to do before I'm really ready, and that's bind my existing data sources. Let's look at an example here with Postgres, where I'm going to, uh, I've already got data in Postgres from my other application, and I want it available to Jasper Report Server. So a single line. Now you can see Jasper Report Server knows about this Postgres data service. Uh, and so that means I can start working with it. Now for those of you that aren't as big of a fan of the command line, you can do the same sort of thing here in a GUI environment in Eclipse. Um, you can see Postgres is already there. Let me drag in MongoDB, and you can see the same idea, but in this case all I have to do is drag it over to my application, wait for uh, four or five seconds until it pops up here, and that's it. Now I've bound these uh, different data sources to Jasper Report Server. And well, now there remains one last step on the Jasper Report Server side to define the database, well, to define the data source using that service. So here I'm gonna log in. You can see there's nothing in Jasper Report Server right now because it's a fresh install. So I'm gonna create a new folder and define that data source. Okay, so I've got the sample folder, and when I add a data source, you can see um, in this drop down here that I've got a few different choices. Let's go to MongoDB, and I'll give it uh, a name. This will be my MongoDB on Cloud Foundry, and then the service name is the key thing that I need to know. That's that MongoDB uh, data that I had defined in some other application, and that's it. Now Jasper Report Server can read all the details straight out of the uh, Cloud Foundry API to know the database name, the username and password, those sort of details, and I'm all set. Um, so let's upload a report. Here I'm skipping the details of creating a report. That's a, that's a bigger topic outside the scope of this, but here I'm just going to upload that report and uh, show that we can we can connect to the data source now and, and, and start running reports. So here, uh, I choose the report, and I'm going to choose the data source that we defined just a moment ago. And now we've got it. The report is uploaded. If I click on it here, uh, it'll run. It's not a very interesting report yet, but it's showing the idea that I can upload it and get started and, and start, start working with these reports in Cloud Foundry. Now, as a, as a very quick review, we're going to first download Jasper Report Server, deploy it, bind it to my existing data sources, and then I'm ready to, uh, here I, I say create reports, but that's sort of a placeholder for general business intelligence analysis as well as reporting. The key thing that we haven't shown, but I just want to make sure you're aware of, is getting going with the iReport tool to create your reports. So over here on our Getting Started page, uh, the good news is you can skip the installing because you've already done that on, on uh, Cloud Foundry and you'll just need to install iReport. Then there's a little tutorial over here about working with iReport and this is a good starting point for you, for those of you that are entirely new to Jasper Reports and iReport. And there's lots more resources beyond that. 
And having gotten past these initial stages of connecting to your data and, and building your first reports, there's there's a lot more details you can get into. Is that a single sign-on or changing the look and feel and, and all these sorts of things? But here you've got the initial introduction to working with Jasper Report Server in Cloud Foundry. Good luck. Uh, note these URLs and, and uh, have fun working with Jaspersoft and with Cloud Foundry.